What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to the Pokemon Mansion, the Burnt Tower, Burnt Mansion, whatever you like to call it, and we actually got the secret key from that area. That way, we can actually go into the next gym, and well, off screen, I did capture quite a few Pokemon. You know, Growlithe, Ditto, you can actually find Ditto in there, and a Grammar, I think. Yeah. Called it Dump Truck, if you guys remember that from Pokemon Moon, which I haven't completed. My bad. So, in this episode, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Gym. The Cinnabar Island Gym, right here. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to answer the, the questions correctly. We're just going to answer them. Off screen, I'm going to battle everybody. And then from there, we're going to go straight to the Pokemon Gym Leader. I think that's how it's going to be. So, let's talk to this guy. Yo, champion making. The high-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Does his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals. Nah, eh, well, we don't need some burn heals. We actually got full heals. They actually help. Okay, so if you go right here, it's going to be like Pokemon quiz. And get it right. The door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer blocking the way. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. Yes. It does. Even though, you know, it, it could be confusing because many of you guys would be like, no, it evolves into Metapod first. But it still evolves into Butterfree. So if you talk again, let's get a... There are nine certified Pokemon uh, League badges. No. If there were, then that would be pretty... That'd be pretty hectic right there. So we just skipped out on four... Three trainers right there, which we will actually take on later on. And uh, Pokemon Quiz, Test Quiz, Poliwax three times evolves three times right now no it evolves two times but technically it does evolve three times depending on what you want for the next game or for the next generation talk to this are thunder moves effective against ground element pokemon no they are not so we are getting this correct yay we're getting it correct all right let's go right here talk to this let's see pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Yes, that is true. They will eventually steer off uh, from, from HP, PP, and all that stuff, different kinds of moves. And I believe this is the last question right here. Okay. TM28 contains Tombstoner. No, that's actually Dig Attack. A very good move right there. And, well, let's see. That is that right there. There's the gym leader. So what we're going to do is we're going to be battling all the trainers right here. I will be back in just a little bit. We're going to be a little bit leveled up and all that crap, so be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back in front of the gym leader, and yes, there is a little something-something about this. We are terribly under-leveled, and I kind of wanted this. I really did because, well, you know, kind of needed a challenge. Many of you guys would always critique that, you know, Draven, how do you train your Pokemon? How are you so over-leveled? This, this, and that. Well, I'm here to prove to you guys right now that I can actually do it under level 2. We're going to do it. We're really going to do it. So here it is, guys. Take it on Blaine. And he's like, ha, I am Blaine. I am the gym leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha, you better have burn heals. Yes, I love this song, guys. So here it is, guys. Taking on Blaine, the fire type gym leader. And yes, he does have some pretty strong Pokemon. Well above the level 45 level. The best way to defeat these Pokemon are through ground and water type Pokemon, which I have both. Especially with Terramon, since it has a very, very high defense and high tolerance for all this stuff. And as you can see, BAM! Say goodbye to Ninetales. Alrighty, okay. So that's one down, another one to go. Let's go with Torpedo. Now, there is one little bad thing about all these Pokemon, is that they all have speed. Rabidash, Ninetales, and Growlithe. So, what's going to happen? is we're going to just soak them, douse them, beat them, all that fun stuff, especially for Growlithe, or no, not Growlithe, but Arcanine, and look at that, we're almost defeating this guy, and here comes a Fire Spin, which does not work, but here comes Le Bubble Beam, courtesy of Misty, and just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon, and here comes Arcanine, let's go with Aaliyah, because we got a little something something that we need to do. Arcanine at level 54, a very strong Pokemon. What we're going to do is we're going to Thunder Wave this guy. And then we're going to be switching out because this Pokemon is very strong. 
And just like that, a flamethrower attack hits us. And... We nearly survived, so we gotta switch out our Pokemon. Let's go... Hmm... You know what, let's go Ultra Psycho. The God Pokemon right here. Bring it. Okay, and a takedown attack does us. Well, that is something. Because uh, we're physically weak, but the recoil hits you. So let's go with the Psychic Attack. And the Psychic Attack hits it pretty good and nearly defeats this guy. And its special has gone down. And, well, just like that, Ultra Psycho has been defeated. Holy crap. Okay, let's go, Torpedo. Its special's gone down. That means that we're going to hurt it. Let's go with the Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, Surf Attack does it. Say goodbye to Arcanine, and yes. Look at that, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign because we have defeated Blaine. I have burnt out. You have earned the Volcano Badge. Hmm. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens these special abilities of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. And we have received the TM38, which is Fire Blast. Teach it to fire type Pokemon. Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. Uh, Ultimate Fire 2. Yeah, don't waste it on a water type Pokemon. And let's see what Pikachu has to say. Oh, yeah. Pikachu, Aaliyah is loving us. Yes, we are seven badges deep, guys. I am uh, extremely happy with this. Very, very happy. Holy crud. So we are close. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to be going straight to Viridian City. And we're going to stop right there because, well, you know, kind of need to leave the last battle for, for the best one, right? So, let's go right ahead and, well, let's go ahead and fly. Now, again, we're terribly underleveled. Uh, Nintendo has made it a point to actually heighten up the levels of all these Pokemon by 10, so it's not fair. Anywho, so here we are in Viridian City, guys. This is where our last gym battle will be, and that's where we're going to be in the next episode. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, the notifications button, and if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, go right ahead. The link's down there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on, well, the 8th gym battle, or 8th gym leader. See you guys.